Welcome back everybody, Boyd here with you with another update on our Mobius Moonbus build. I was talking to you guys in the last video about um, this last part that we're going to do here to connect the wiring from the uh, model to our base. And what I'm going to be doing here is showing you guys this little method that I used uh, a couple times in a few of my models where you can make some contact points um, so you can get power to the model without having to hardwire the model down onto a base or something like that and that way you can uh, remove it and you know show it off or whatever you want to do maybe later on you decide you want to put it on a different kind of a base or something like that so this is a really simple method you can see what I've got here is I've got a couple pieces of uh, scrap uh, photo etch this is just some real thin brass the reason I use like to use the brass photo etch um, is because it's really thin and it's a good conductor and and solder sticks to it really good so what I'm going to be doing here is you can see I've got my um, this is the center foot of the uh, forward landing gear so I've drilled a couple of holes through this now this works you know sometimes you might have to do a lot of modifying if the parts are not hollow and stuff like that but these parts were hollow so it wasn't too hard I just drilled a couple of holes here and I was able to pull the wires up through I've got them so they've got some slack in them and um, we're gonna solder these wires now onto these two contacts so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a little drop of solder I want to try to keep my solder pretty small so I'm just gonna make a little drop of solder like right here in the middle of this photo etch About like that okay do the same thing over on this side and then we're going to um, tin these wires here just a tiny little bit just to get a little bit of solder on those so they'll grab right away all right and then we're gonna what we want to do is here we don't want to lay it on its side like that we want to come straight down like this point it straight at it so it's standing up like that okay you want to <clears throat> you want to try and keep your solder uh, pretty small because we've got a we want we I, I drilled some oversized holes here because I wanted to um, make sure that they'll go down on there pretty well flush all right so we're gonna do the same thing over here on this side okay so we'll give these a good little tug here to make sure they're on there solid which they are so now we can pull them off of our tape here. Which they got stuck down on there pretty good. With the heat that we put on there. But I didn't want them jumping up on me. It's okay once they're down on the model I can... I'll be coming back and um, scraping these and everything and making sure they're all nice and clean. Let's get this excess gook off of here for now. like that okay now we're going to um, use a little bit of CA glue which I'm just about out of I barely probably got a couple drops left in the bottle here so I'm gonna bring my little thing down here and get this ready to go might take a second apologize for the background noise to you guys really chilly down here in San Antonio we're getting a little winter no snow this time but it's pretty cold so I've got the shop heaters on but this will probably take a second with this being extra thick with the cool air in here to, to drain out I just need to get a little bit to uh, put on the bottom there there we go and then we're gonna draw these up just like this kind of 
of straightened out there a little bit. Just going to dab a little bit of CA glue on there around the edges of it. And I'll uh, hit this with a little bit of accelerator and that way we can move on to the next one right away. Trying to make sure I keep it down on there flat as possible that way. now. We won't have to worry about this, you guys, if it, if it, you know, it, it is going to stick up just a tiny little bit. So if you had the model sitting on like a totally flat surface, you know, I mean, it's, it's a microscopic amount. You'll probably never notice it. But when we put this on our base, like I talked about, I'm going to be using plaster um, to make my little moon surface. And so just before that plaster completely sets up, when it's still a little bit soft, I'll imprint the model onto it. That way we have a perfect location where the model's gonna sit. And it'll actually imprint this little uh, this little spot right here into the uh, plaster. And that way I'll be able to see where I need to drill too because I'll be doing the same exact thing in reverse on the base so that you have this and that. When you drop the model down onto it, they touch each other and you make contact, okay? So now we're gonna Go ahead and get this other side glued on, which this one might be a little bit of a problem because I got a little bit too much solder on there, I think. Let's see if it'll lay down flat. Yep, nope, it's laying pretty flat, so we're going to go ahead and go with it. I'll put a little bit more CA on there, but uh, this is just to get her stuck down on there. Just give this a second. And these don't have to look perfect, you guys. You can see they're not the exact same shape and size and everything. But don't worry about that. No one's ever going to see it. It's on the bottom of the model. And once it's down on the base, it'll all be fine. So there we go. We can kind of turn this over now, and you can see it actually sits pretty flat that's the only gap that you get there it's real tiny so not a big deal at all so now what the plan is going to be you guys is um, we're going to uh, I'm gonna finish building out this part here of the forward landing gear these outer skis I just have to paint now what I did is I drilled holes all the way through everything that's you know in the middle of it so we're just gonna be pulling the wires up through like this goes let me see if I remember how this goes. Okay, it goes like this. That goes down on there like that. This piece goes over the top like that. Our little ski goes in the center. Just going to show you. We're going to sneak these wires up through there. A little pause there, everybody, while I was fumbling around with this. Now you can see what I've done here is I brought the wires up. Uh, through the center and uh, up through the uh, middle of the kind of spring part there and into the upper assembly. So this just slides all together like this. Get these wires down on there like that. And then our little ski goes in the center part there in the two locating holes. Let me kind of stand this up for you. And then uh, you've got this little open area up here at the top. So we've got wires coming out of the bottom of the model. We'll make our two solder points right there. We'll solder these on to the uh, wires coming out of the model. And we'll just kind of bundle these up and tuck them in this little opening here. Glue this baby down onto the bottom of the uh, ship. And we're all set. I just have to, uh, you know, paint and detail the other ones here. So what I'm going to work on now is get this all painted up and detailed. And then we're going to show you the final step here of this getting mounted onto the model. And then we'll reveal the... Uh, the completed model guys it's looking really good too it came out really nice can't wait to show it to you I'll be right back and we'll uh, show you how things are going from there alright everybody so what I did here is I um, all I did was I soldered my wires that we had coming out of the top of our little landing gear set here up to the wires that we had coming out of the model from the bottom and then I put a couple little pieces of shrink wrap in here so all we have to do now is just kind of bundle these wires up and glue this onto the bottom of our ship here and we're all set. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Put a little bit of glue around our little edges here. I uh, 
scraped all the paint off of this so we got a nice solid connection we don't want this to come apart later on but uh you know glue's weak enough where if i ever had a wiring issue there or whatever i doubt we ever will but i would be able to get it back apart so all i got to do is just kind of carefully pack this in here and make sure it's not sticking up around any of the edges and then we're just going to put it straight up in there grab my little uh, tweezers here real quick get this last little bunch on there now normally I'd be able to push some wire back up inside the model and I don't know what happened here I didn't glue anything but I think it's uh, the wire got slight there's some kind of pressure on it up in there and I don't want to I don't want to force it up in there so I'm just gonna do it this way there's plenty enough room to pack everything in that little spot and then uh now i'm just going to tip it over on its top here i don't want to show you the model just yet you guys that's why i've got it covered up and we're going to make sure it's all centered and good and i'm going to let this dry for a good half hour or so and let this get all nice and settled in then we'll come back and we'll show you the model um i'm going to uh explain a little bit more about what we're going to do with uh creating the you know the the contacts that match up with this um, uh, onto our base. I went and got everything I needed to do the base, so I'm going to be working on the base over the weekend and probably Sunday. I'll show you guys the uh, the whole thing all coming together. But before we're done here, I'll show you the model, how it basically looks, and we're going to just kind of rig up a quick temporary little thing here so I can show you how the contacts are going to work and the lights will come on and all that. So I'll be right back with that, you guys. All right, everybody, I'm back with you once more to show you how the model looks all finished up. And uh, you can see I had a lot of fun on the paint job on this. It has a lot of different, um, I used five or six different colors on all the different panel detailing work that I did here. There, Some of them are really subtle where you can barely see them and some, some of the others are so, uh, a little bit more bold. I was able to find some nice uh, black and white photos of the actual studio model while they were working on it. And uh, you could see quite a bit of reference there. And I was kind of surprised that this was actually quite a dirty bird. Um, they had a lot of staining and a lot of weathering all over it. But again, some of that doesn't show up on film because um, you have these super bright lights that are being pointed at it when they were shooting it. But uh, yeah, I think it adds a lot of uh, character to it. You know, the official 2001 vehicle guide lists this as a moon utility vehicle. So I guess it makes sense that it would be, um, you know, kind of dirty from getting into the moon dust and all that and used a lot. It had these big scorch marks on the sides here. Now one detail that we added to this that made this kit look a lot better was we cut open these holes here for the uh, forward thrusters on those uh, thruster pods there because they're completely missing on the original kit and uh, that makes that look a whole lot better so we fixed all that up. Um, got the little antenna mounted on the top here and we did a little bit of extra work you know we took our, our copper wire we added these little grab handles here and uh, we did our little uh, details on the side of our rocket cones which you can see which came out really nice and you can see those are all nice and uh, tilted outward we showed you how we grinded those edges and made those look correct and that fixed all those problems and then uh, up here at the front too I noticed it had these little kind of probes that were sticking out on the front part so I used a little bit more of my wire right there to, to add those and um, painted to you know painted those kind of panel details to match that you saw in the movie and uh, put the little USAA decal markings on it, sealed that up with some flat coat. And here's some uh, weathering on the back. There were two more thrusters here at the back that had these dark stains with like little stuff dripping down that you could see from the movie. And um, yeah, this is uh, really cool. I really like this kit and for being an inexpensive kit, uh, we didn't add a whole lot to it except lighting. I probably got around $50 in this whole thing, which you know, you really can't beat that when it comes to building a model these days. I used inexpensive craft paints. Everything worked out really good. Let me uh, turn it around and show you the other side here. And, uh, yeah, she came out really nice. I'm really happy with this little kit. And I do hope that Mobius comes out with the larger kits. We know they're going to do the um, uh, Clipper and the, uh, the Ares, but it would be great to have a bigger, more accurate moon bus. That would be fantastic. And maybe even the space station because... As far as I know, there's only one kit of that out there from uh, Fantastic Plastic. It's in resin, and it's not very large, and so being in resin, solid resin, it'd be really hard to light it. But maybe we'll see a nice uh, space station kit, too, because I always like that one. But um, let me 
power this thing up now. Now I'm gonna. It might take me a second because I've got to make these little contact points here. They'll actually work a lot better once the uh, the model is on the uh, final display base there, because the contact points will be more pronounced. There we go. Um, but you can see that worked out great. So you can pick the model up off the base. You know, you can handle it or whatever, kind of like I did on my Galileo, and that all worked out really good. Here's our. Um, forward cockpit lighting you can see our little guys in there one thing i did is i painted the upper part of the window frame there too because if you don't you get these uh two little holes where the glass goes in and that'll show right through there and it kind of ruins the whole effect so i fixed that up and we got our little smds going on we got some lighting in the uh instrument panel there and stuff and then over here on the side you got our uh dr floyd and his companion and the crewman in there bringing them the, their uh, chicken and ham sandwich dinners you can see the little crates in there, which I think is nice. Got the white rope around those like they had in the movie. Like I said, most of the interior, you know, it's it's close enough for me. I don't think it's off by that much. Um, some of the little detail on the walls was a little different that you noticed. The ribbing was shaped a little different, and I think it had these little kind of stainless steel, like, trim strips that were in there. But, you know, that's no big deal to me. So that worked out good. Here's our little side marker lights. So yeah, uh, up next, you guys, um, I'm going to, uh, coming back over the weekend, this is my little platform I bought from uh, Hobby Lobby. These are these little signs that they have in their home decoration department. You can get these really cheap. They usually are on sale. Like this one was $11.99, and I got it for like $6 with a 45% off. And these make great little uh, bases for your models because uh, all you got to do is um, uh, I'll get rid of this paper that was on here, and I'll paint this. Uh, probably a flat black or whatever and then we're going to put our plaster on top a real thin layer of plaster and I'll kind of sculpt my little uh, moon base I'll add some rocks and stuff like that we'll paint it all up uh, in some moon dust colors and then um, what I'll do is before this completely cures I'll take the model and make an impression into it and that way I'll know exactly where to drill my holes for my wires for my contact points to go and we'll be all set i'm debating on adding whether to add a little monolith uh to this like maybe behind the moon bus or something but and eh, i think that maybe would take away from it a little bit but um uh, i've got some material that i could make a perfect little monolith in scale for that but we'll see if i actually wind up doing that or not but uh so you'll see that over the weekend here i'll be working on that and then we'll uh, show you this whole thing when it's all in one piece everything put together and we'll take some nice pictures of it and call it a wrap but it was a lot of fun you guys thanks for checking this out and thanks for all the input along the way too it's been a lot of fun listening to all your suggestions and comments and everything and your memories about uh building this kit when you were young and everything and if you have the time and you um have the inkling i suggest you grab one of these if you don't already have it and have at it again guys you'll be glad you did it's a really fun little kit and uh you know it doesn't take a super long time to build and it's just really really nice when it's done like i said a little elbow grease some paint work and some lighting and it can come out really cool i hope you guys have enjoyed it so far we'll be back with the final on this one in a couple of days we'll see you all next time thanks for watching everybody take care and uh, happy modeling everyone